Okay. Am I right? Alright, so quick question. So, you're three years older. No, you're not. Right, whatever. Well, I, it's not a quiz. Uh, basically, your dad. So, what was it like when your dad left? I mean, like, well, did, first of all, let me go back to uh, somewhere along the way when... Um, this would be 14 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> He, somewhere along the way from when he ran away from the orphanage oh. and getting his captain's license on a fishing boat, he became acquainted with the Likes brothers. There were five brothers. Likes? L-Y-K-E-S. And they owned the largest shipping company, steamship company, based in Tampa at the time. Oh. And um, he remained friend, friends with Fred, particularly, who used to come visit us at the house. Mm. Fred Likes, and then there was Isabel Likes, who became mom's friend later in life. Mm. Um, but Fred was... Um, Ma. No, we're just paying out to this person. Sorry, all right, fine. He's corroborating her, sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, that... Uh, Fred and Isabel, all right. And... Um, but. They're still in Tampa, and I think they've branched out. I don't know if they still have a steamship company. Might be I don't possible. think so. But they also, you see canned food mm -hmm. that says like L-Y-K-E-S yeah. from Tampa. I don't I think just, they have that anymore, either. I just... Well, I'm pretty sure they don't have a steamboat company no, in they Tampa. Because yeah. steamboats mm -hmm. in Tampa probably are not that prolific. Well, the, <laughs> what it is, uh, I'm the... With the unionism and the rest of it after the war, there was no real need for an American merchant marine. Right. Yeah. And there yeah. just aren't any. They're kind of like the forgotten branch of the war, yeah. basically. They were never compensated for their war. No. Yeah. But, but just briefly, I want to go back, instead of the war, in terms of how it happened and such, just briefly. Mm -hmm. So your dad didn't go away for a time. What was it like? Like... Did, did you guys do a celebration before? I mean, not a celebration, but... I was too young. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Five months old when Pearl Harbor happened by the time. But I remember that. Because that's when Michael, our brother, decided he was going into war. Pearl, Pearl, because of Pearl Harbor? That was awful. I remember him talking about it. I was eavesdropping and I was crying and... So is your parents arguing with Michael about going no, into the war? Or? They weren't arguing for a change, <laughs> um, but they were talking. I just learned that that's oh, what was going into war. Oh, I heard them talking about it. They got drafted because she wouldn't let him join the Navy. I didn't remember that. Well, he told me that. <clears throat> he told me that, that he wanted to join the Navy and mother wouldn't sign for him because he was too young. Well, was he um, officially adopted by your father? Yeah. So he could have signed too, but he was probably already away, right? I, I was too young. Okay. I don't remember any of it. He told me later. So you're, you said you were five months old when's your birthday? I was five months old when oh, Pearl Harbor yeah. oh. happened. So when's your birthday? July 5th. Oh, that's right. Always in December. Yeah. 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 My dad talked about, you know, just a few. <clears throat> he talked about Torpedo Run, and I don't know when that was. I just remember Torpedo Run, and he said he was carrying ammunition, and they wouldn't let him go in convoys. But he was must have been in the convoy because he was talking about ships on all sides of him being blown up one after another after another and they didn't get blown up but it was terrifying i remember he used to when he was running the stevedoring company ships would come in baltimore and dad for the sailing background knew a lot of the sailors and he would bring some back to the house for dinner that type of thing and they would be swapping oh. stories there was one who was in Singapore when General Percival, they had a 60,000 man garrison to defend Singapore and General Yamashita, they were expecting all the attack to come from the sea. He came down through the jungles. Japs are good jungle fighters. And uh, General Percival surrendered the entire fort without a shot. 
and <clears throat> there were some merchant ships. This guy was on one of them, and the place was sur had surrendered, so they were going to make a run for it that night, and they're going into the Singapore, into the wealthy mm -hmm. Western hotels and motels, each of them getting a bottle mm -hmm. of whiskey to fortify themselves <laughs> for a run that night. And they say to the English-speaking Chinese waiters, well, you're going to be under the <laughs> under the domain of the Japanese. What do you think? And they say, can't be any worse than the Brits. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that was their attitude. Mm -hmm. wow. And they were worse than the Brits. But, uh, they had to learn their own lesson. And there was oh. another guy, he was, two of them were there. One of them was on the pier at a harbor in Italy. And his ship was coming into port, and he saw it coming in. And the guy on the ship <clears throat> was getting a haircut. He's on the deck, one of his shipmates was giving him a haircut. Next thing he knows, he's in the water. And there's debris falling all around him. <clears throat> They'd hit a mine, they were carrying munitions. He was the only crewman to survive. Everyone else was killed. He was just the in the right place. Oh, and just well, technically the wrong place, but yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even injured. Yeah, he's just all of a sudden he's in the water. What wow. A lot of stories like that I can't remember, but then. Well, no, we appreciate your stories. Oh. I mean, it's, um, you know, 14 minute videos or whatever. But and the guy that was watching him came in. Yeah. Come in, Rodler. He didn't, he just looked back and the ship was gone. He just saw a puff of smoke out there. He's wondering what happened. Yeah. And then the sound wave hit him. And then he figured what had happened. All right, change the subject. Uh